Okay, you clicked to watch this video because you notice in the title spiritual awakening. So probably you are going through this or you want to discover what is it, what are symptoms and what changes in life after spiritual awakening. And in this video, I'm going to explain it to you. So watch this till the end. Spiritual awakening is a process in our life, which a lot of people experience. I will say that everyone in some degree, in which we start to awaken and to realize who we are on a deeper level, that we are not who we think we were, and we realize that we are something formless, that we need to form in physical existence, that we need to create ourselves. And we realize that a lot of these beliefs that we had about words were not ours, they were created, they were taken from other people, from our surroundings, and they were in many times distorting our reality, and we were not able to perceive the world the way it is. Spiritual awakening is not something that you will that you will close your eyes and see the psychedelic things, etc. No, it's just normal thing. It's called spiritual because we realize that we are not only body, we are something more. And we can describe it a lot of ways, but this is the most basic way that we can describe it. And not to think that this is something that you can achieve, that you can get through yoga, for example, through meditation. Because in many cases it happens spontaneously. When you're traveling, you're seeing different parts of the world and your head is opening and you see things in a completely new way, you perceive yourself in a completely new way. Because throughout our whole life, we have a lot of moments when we enlighten ourselves step by step and something changes in our head. And now we are perceiving words in a different way. And it's not only temporary, but it's permanent. And later, these changes are accumulating and we see that one year ago we were a completely different person that we are right now and this is deep transformation because a lot of people are stuck in their personalities for their whole life stuck in their routine <clears throat> they're doing every day same things thinking about same things and when you are awakened spiritually this monotony disappears even if your life is monotonous, you are doing the same thing every day. You, every day you approach with this clear head, let's say, because you understand that even if this monotony is unique, and every day is unique, even if you are doing the same things. After, after you awaken spiritually, you basically understand that these cycles that we observe in the world are basically in our head and world. Even if you have day, night, day, night, every day and every night is kind of different. But our mind is accustomed to monotony, to habits, to repetitive cycles. And we perceive other people also as repetitive things that this person will say, for example, this in particular situation, this person will react in particular way in this situation. And spiritual awakening is about going beyond these cycles and understanding that other people are not person their personalities, they are also something more, something beautiful. Because how something can be how someone can be beautiful if you created some image in your head and later you still believe that this person is this. You're not open to see who this person really is. So spiritual awakening is basically, as I said, about this openness, about a deeper understanding of yourself as reality. And what changes in our life after spiritual awakening? A lot changes here in our perspective, in our mind. But it can happen that in reality, this material reality, nothing changes. Because we think that spiritual awakening is enough and that's mission completed in our life. No, I need to tell you that spiritual awakening is just beginning of our life when we awaken, as it sounds, spiritual awakening. And later, we need to realize that it's not about being passive, it's about creating our reality in the way we want. And 
we should not renounce this material reality and believe that after spiritual awakening we can sit whole day and meditate etc because in this way this is not spiritual life this is just spiritual spiritual bypassing because we all know on some level that we need to take action in our material life and do things that we consider valuable that will bring value to ourselves and to others and we need to live literally normal life through doing not only through sitting and wondering about how this world was created etc because in practice when we immerse ourselves into our lives this is most beautiful state when you forget about everything and we just are in action in being in doing what we love in doing things even that we don't love but we are immersed in them so remember that don't pursue this whole spirituality to quit material reality material problems pro things that you need to um, that you need to face because in this way you're going to fail and after spiritual awakening we are able to feel more pain because we understand reality on a deeper level and after spiritual awakening we need to also remain grounded in reality and do things in our real spiritual is also real of course but in real i mean material life we need to stay here and we should not spiritual bypass reality and not pursue spiritual awakening in order to find soul consolation in our life because in the process of getting spiritually enlightened spiritually awakened we will need to go through a lot of suffering and a lot of things that we need to solve within ourselves that we're distorting our rea reality that we're limiting us from the truth that we want to discover and this whole process is necessary in order to discover truth in order to discover true beauty of the world in order to discover true beauty of every person every person thank you for watching this video leave a like comment and subscribe my channel.